All right, people. I, I, I did it. I went and got a hogshead. I got a little more courage from the Scott Rea channel. Now, see, there's some hair in here that I've got to scrape away. I'm probably going to use uh, the edge of a spoon and see what happens. I don't know how this is going to go. But it looks pretty clean. You know, they, they've torched it, apparently, so that... Um, uh, the small hairs are gone off of it. Yeah, I'm going to have to use both hands and, and scrape that out. But um, I hope that the tongue and the brains, which might be soft um, already, are still in here. And I'm going to attempt to cut this up and debone it. And um, I think what I'm going to do is, since I don't have a coping saw, I'm going to uh, split here and, uh, you know, get the ears off and um, try to get the pieces off. I've seen people butcher these beautifully where they could kind of just slice away from the bone and and keep this big head and then deal with the bone and the meat left on it later so I will try to do that uh, the Scott Rea channel shows um, see there are little bits of crud see I'm gonna put it in some vinegar water also for a few minutes I have a huge 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 uh, industrial pot that I can use. Uh, I'm going to use some white vinegar. Um, he shows how to cook it for an extremely long period of time, uh, like four hours, in a big pot with a, just a few basic vegetables such as a, an onion and a carrot and no herbs even at that point. And then you take the well-cooked meat out and cool it and start getting it off the bones. Um, and you continue to cook down the pig glue, as he calls it. And you can add a little thyme. And it will get thicker and thicker and thicker. And meanwhile, you get these pieces off it, however you can do it. I've seen it in a rolled method, which is sliced. And he was making the terrine out of it by putting the broth over it in a ceramic bowl and pressing it down and chilling it overnight and then taking it out and slicing it up and then you have head cheese. So I'm looking forward to doing this and it's not the biggest one they had. They had two for sale. This was eight euros and eighty cents. And I don't know. Uh, I'm. We'll see what happens. I'm. I'm going to try to take some pictures, and also do some various video clips. You know, if I fail, I fail. Sometimes it takes me more than one attempt. <laughs> 